We have a situation in Zimbabwe where girls have lost the ability to dream. It's been difficult for a girl to do something according to her own will. Even as a younger child, um, I realized just being a girl, you know, I my decisions were being made by other people. Things get decided about us or for us by people around us without us being able to engage in that conversation. If we silence women's voices, we're less than as a society, as a culture, as a community. That's why we need women's sports and more girls and women playing sports. Basketball has always been my school and I've learned so much from it. It provides the same life lessons that you need. When you're out there swimming up and down that pool or running up and down that court and it hurts, you gotta keep going. I think sports is, is one of the few things that unifies. It, this is the only platform where I can represent myself in my own way. Whether you're non-disabled, whether you're disabled, whether you're white, you're black. This program, like sport, it builds confidence. With the Global Sports Mentoring Program is a huge opportunity for collaboration. All of us would like to achieve something, to change something for our society. Everyone deserves an equal opportunity. Sometimes you just need a small push. It's inside and you just need someone to tell you yes. For me it meant uh, finally I found those who can help me. The mentor gives perspective, guidance, asks the right questions. I feel like I'm sort of on the journey with her. And together, the more we spend time and talk, learning what, what that plan can be. Not only helping you with that vision, but really driving that vision in the different areas that they need to. Emerging leaders, today, they have that opportunity to become entrepreneurs. Women have a responsibility to show other women that it's possible. This is what I understand from entrepreneurship is taking a risk and then being brave. If you are, you are able to inspire others to become more, to dream more, and to do more, you are a leader. The challenges are laid out in front of her, and there are many, but she's not shying away from them. I think it, it's inspired you that, okay, if she can do it, then I can do as well. And when I had the chance to do something, I do it. I can say that I have learned from every minute of being here. I want to see a generation that can be able to shout and advocate for their issues. I know that we have a long way to walk, but we are not alone now. Together as a group, we're strong in a sense, we inspire each other. With the personal relation, I guess it's where the power is. They may have felt like as a single person alone trying to create something, now suddenly they have the support of many more people from around the world. Knowing that you have this whole great think tank behind you of, of women is probably the most powerful thing that they can go home with. I can tell from her that she will go home and she will not be silent. We are sending back women who are going to have decades of impact in their own countries and in their own communities. That's pretty priceless to us. This is not the, the end, no, it, it's, it's the start. Can I live up to it? Can I, can, can I give it the best that I can? I may fail, but I may succeed. When we are together, we are stronger. As long as we are aware of the problem and the opportunities, all of these women, Olga included, I look forward to seeing them rule the world. I need to be a part of this. I want to see this through. I know she's going to be successful, and I want to be there to cheer her on. That was honor. That was like, you are something, and you can do something, and you are the best one amongst all.